Good evening and welcome to TDM Talk Show. I'm your host, Kelsey Wilhelm. Thanks for joining us after the short break over the summer. Much has been happening in Macau, not the least of which is the ongoing public consultation on Macau's urban master plan. Joining us this evening is renowned architect and artist Carlos Mejairus to talk about some of the possible avenues the city's planning could be going down. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. We want to jump into the urban master plan, which is quite a heavy document to jump into with a lot of information and they're compressed. But I wanted to start off with something we just learned today. This has been around for about a week now. Um, we're talking about the, the Central Library Project. I know that was something that was very close to you and your team and, and we only recently learned that um, the project you've been working on for so long has basically been canceled and now we learned it's becoming a completely different project. Um, so starting off, the the building was, that was going to be used was originally planned to be the former courthouse. Um, when did you find out that that was no longer going to be the building used for the project? Uh, formally, I was informed uh, a few hours ago this morning, okay. uh, officially. That is all. Okay. The, um, the new project that has been announced is going to be using the Hotel Sturil. Uh, which is a, it's a quite a sizable building. It's in a centrally located area. What are your ideas on that being the possible location of the future, well, of being the confirmed location for the future Central Library? First of all, good, good evening uh, to you and all your viewers. Uh, I think that the site chosen for the next um, Central Library is a fantastic place because Tapsec area has some historical sites. It is very close to UNESCO uh, uh, historical site of Macau as mm -hmm. well. And it's a, an area quite young in terms of urban pattern and quite young uh, because there is a, a strong population uh, with uh, students. And the area is equipped with several schools from uh, pre-secondary up to secondary school. Mm -hmm. So the area is f just great uh, to house the future central library. It's very local. It does have the mixture of not only the older Portuguese architecture, but also the swimming pool, public facilities. Um, and it's interesting that when they, what, what we know so far of the type of tender or project that they've announced so far, they invited 10 companies or over 10 companies, and then they shortened it down to a list of four companies, but none of those companies are from Macau. Uh, we have a company from Holland, Finland, Ireland, and Switzerland. Um, you've obviously heard of some of them before. Well, why do you think that Macau companies were not um, highly featured within this selection? I don't know. Uh, this, must be, uh, this question must be asked for the responsible public department. Uh, I don't know uh, what will be uh, the future, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what will be the method to be adopted for further steps. Uh, one thing I'm sure, uh, I will not be part of my team because I will not um, accept any invitation to join another competition because I think this is unfair. As you know, there were two competitions. Mm -hmm. The first one was vicious, full of vicious. We participate, we have um, honorable mention, or a mention of excellence. And the second one, we enter with our commitment to serve Macau, my homeland that I love uh, too mu so much. Uh, we have a team of 40 persons, all local, uh, architects, engineers, Portuguese, Chinese, and also some international consultancy. Mm -hmm. uh, our investment was around 600,000 to 850,000 mm -hmm. because you need uh, your full office uh, working almost uh, 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. uh, eight days a week. If there were 25 hours in a day, then you'd probably be in there 25 hours. Yes, and we invent the 26 uh, hours, uh, 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 people know how. But uh, so, uh, coming to this stage, it was two dream dreams. Okay. Blue sky with burst, and then became a nightmare. Yeah. As, an, uh, um, as I'm not a masochist, uh, I don't like nightmare, I like to dream. But I am a pragmatic man, but I'm an idealist and I'm a dreamer. Uh, John Lennon says, mm -hmm. uh, you are a dreamer also. Yes, I am. 
So uh, I wake up, hopefully I woke up from this nightmare and lives go on and I will not uh, therefore uh, participate in further um, uh, work uh, regarding the central library. And the public department, sometimes I don't know what they think. Uh, what the hell they think we are? We are citizens, honorable citizens. We pay our tax. We commit our best, our excellence to this uh, place called Macau, a fantastic city to live and to, to love. We do our best, not only now, not only five years ago. Uh, I start since I was 20, several years old, you know. I serve also the government. I'm a decorated citizen mm -hmm. by two former Portuguese governors, by the chief executive and by the president of republic. So I'm an honest citizen. How come this, um, this um, uh, public department come to this kind of conclusion to treat us like what? They work sometimes like zombies. Uh, walking dead, you know, they don't think that. The announcement was a bit of a surprise when we first mm -hmm. found out that they were reconsidering using the old courthouse. In fact, they were going to make it back into a judicial building and they were going to scrap the plans for that, for the central library for that building, but then also the change now. Um, I know that there, you had mentioned between 600 and 800,000. Did your company only come away losing from this project? Oh, yes, yeah. of course, because this was the invest investment. Hopefully, we won't. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, honoraries and the investment uh, worth. But so many times I lost also mm -hmm. our team. We don't uh, uh, win every competition. And the other team who invested also so much. Why? And you know, this new approach is a little bit zombie because it will uh, take more time. Okay? Another competition. It will cost more. Because uh, people think a public tender, uh, we lose money, but the public department mm -hmm. lose money in paperwork yes. and time to promote this uh, zombie uh, tender. And who pay for them? I and you. We pay our taxes, so we are feeding this public department. Therefore, they have to deliver competent, honest and fair. So they are losing and spending my money as a citizen uh, and uh, pushing it to a uh, longer uh, time timeline. So everybody's losing. I think this, this takes us to an interesting point, which um, I've seen your views before on the way that public tenders are handled in Macau. This seems to be a, a more of a closed public tender and we're still not quite sure of exactly how it's going to be handled. From what we understand, some people are coming in to then consult on the plans and then figure out budgets, but we will be getting more information for sure. Um, but let me what tell do you, you think one about way. public tenders? This announcement uh, regarding uh, the new central library uh, was done, was publicized today, mm -hmm. the International Day of Teacher. And the teachers are precisely our second parents. They teach us, a teacher teaches, train us, mold our personality, personality our character, try, uh, teach us to be fair, honest, to serve as a citizen. Precisely this uh, public department the way they organize that, it's mm -hmm. the contrary. It's not even Confucian. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so much uh, sin for such a simple decision. Where is it? Yeah. Let us do it. You know, it's interesting because we've also recently gone through, I mean recently because 2020 has been such a confusing year, it still seems like December was just a few months ago. Um, but we've gone through this transition in leadership. Do you find that this transition in leadership is being shown within, let's say, decisions like this? Yes, I think they didn't reach the leadership because uh, the last uh, government was too much easy, easy, uh, and mainly in the area of uh, PWD. Mm -hmm. uh, engineer Lao Siu Yu, he was a disaster, almost a sweet imposter, because he was frightening of his own shadow. So he invent all the 
possible mechanism, the apparatus, to protect himself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, stating always that, oh, it's nothing with me, never assume. So he invent uh, technicalities, bureau bureaucracy, that um, protect himself to take any position. So, making a consult, con, uh, mm -hmm. consultant, a tender, not a competition, a tender, inviting six companies or eight or four or ten to present the cost, mm -hmm. they have a criteria which factors of ponderation are completely met. Mm -hmm. And the, very inflexible. Inflexible, met, absolutely, uh, how can I say, in, uh, completely incomprehensive. And the officials, the technicians, uh, rate yeah. our tender in a surreal way. So this is nothing fair. This is absolutely only legal between commerce and defend a rat of a secretariat, secretariat rat that Mr. Lau was, a bureaucrat, a tremendous bureaucrat, who only produced paper and hit, nothing more. So this tender is not fair, it is not democratic, it is not even purely legal. The other thing, the competition with design should be done in Macau. Okay, and especially giving opportunities to the smallest uh, companies of mm -hmm. architects, engineers, planners, and designers, because that's the way to promote talent mm -hmm. on one hand. On the other hand, is the opportunity for them to uh, show up and uh, produce uh, mm -hmm. some uh, 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 architecture. And even those who are working in the uh, entertainment sector, they can rejoin them together and participate. So in a level of public uh, competition, rated for instance under 40s or 45s, giving them clearly well stated uh, opportunities, uh, with the good result I already uh, uh, told you. And for uh, Big project, project mm -hmm. that um, requires uh, good a larger technicality, scaled technicality, skills, links to other professionals internationally. I understand that you've you are that there's two levels. Yes. So there are these larger companies mm -hmm. which are set up also set up locally. Yes. And they can pull from the talent pool of the smaller companies. Precisely. But, but then me... you were saying that they should be a part of. No, 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 no. I say tenders? that. Uh, what, what is the, the idea for the tender? The public competition like uh, must be done especially. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, normally should be then given opportunity to local mm -hmm. talents, to local talents, okay, and register in our association and in the PWD. And then they are uh, international competition. I have nothing against international competition. Mm -hmm. When you invite the very best. Okay. So all cities of the world mm -hmm. uh, did that. Bilbao became famous yes. because of uh, uh, American architect Frank O'Gary, the Bilbao Museum, uh, and other uh, uh, countries in Europe or in uh, the States. Mm -hmm. They invite, they are Japanese do, uh, working in uh, Europe, or even I am Bay in uh, the Louvre Museum, mm -hmm. and so on and so on. So, or uh, Rand Coolers in Beijing. Mm -hmm. I'm not against that. Mm -hmm. I am in favor of that. But that's another level. Of course, the local can also participate. Mm -hmm. There's a Portuguese uh, saying which prays, Sten unhas toca guitarra. If you have nails, you can yeah. play guitar. So mm -hmm. we join, no problem, <laughs> okay? So, but in the other level, mm -hmm. uh, and a public uh, uh, competition is complicated uh, all the way out and it's expensive because you have to hire good service of international celebrities to be member of the juries and so on and so on and it takes time. But for normal uh, project mm -hmm. you have in Macau 10, 12 yeah. companies with uh, technical, 
um, and financial capability and skills uh, to endeavor this uh, project. So, if yearly, in each quarter, the Macau government invite three of these companies, mm -hmm. in a year, we have 12 companies with their job, and uh, they are happy, everybody's happy, nobody criticizes the government, even as the exercise of policy, of, mm -hmm. of policy, giving bread to the people is good because they don't have time to criticize. Even in this sense, the exercise of, okay, some sectors of PWD, it is zombie, you know? Do you think that that would mean, then mean that those companies that were selected would, would end up being constantly the market leaders and they wouldn't allow time for, they wouldn't allow space for more competition? From say medium, medium to large size companies that would have been able to break into that upper bracket but other, because we're looking at very sizable contracts. I mean, anything that's going to be, if we're talking infrastructure, it can be, make the difference between a company starting off small and becoming big. So do you, do you think that by having that methodology with the public tenders that you would end up with only a select group of companies and there wouldn't be space in the market for more? Uh, there is also a possibility to reach this scenario. Okay. So therefore, all around the world, there are levels of participation mm -hmm. and there are levels of uh, pleasing and service uh, the, the people, mm -hmm. the society. Uh, you, don't, you cannot have a ca cafeteria with the same product for general or for soldiers. And then they are sergeant and so on, colonels and so on. So uh, people, uh, we are, uh, I believe, in democracy after all. It's the best solution, a political system. Uh, people are horizontally, uh, are facing, respect each other, mm -hmm. but there's a natural high hierarchy mm -hmm. okay. of opportunities in of situation. Mm -hmm. It means that if I want to design a car, I want to invent a car, I will contact B uh, BW Lee or Rolls Royce, I will not contact a company that uh, has no credibility to invent. Like, like Tesla. No, Tesla is good. No, Tesla is good. But at one point electric. they weren't. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, thank you very much for, for speaking about that. I, we do have this huge master plan we want to get to, and so much of this is linked together. Because one of the elements that they're talking about within the plan is that they want to protect cultural heritage and maintain the historical and cultural atmosphere, which is interesting in terms of the design of a building like the public, the central library, um, in such a old uh, historical part of the city. But they also say they want to optimize the SAR's tourism capacity. Uh, we had gone past the point of saying that we're going to impose a tourism tax, mostly because we got hit by COVID and we realized mm -hmm. that that was our main industry. Um, is there any way, architecturally, to have a balance between protecting that cultural heritage and still being able to welcome more tourists. Yes, it is, of course, because don't forget, we, uh, for this master plan, they are covering around 36 mm -hmm. kilometers, square kilometers. We're adding three, basically. Uh, 3.9 plus 3.4 something okay. mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the next 18 years. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, but this is minus comparing. So we consider 36 square kilometers is enough. Uh, but we have Hang Chin Island. True. And the, the, I know that the new chief executive, he has idea for the city, the former one has, has not. Uh, he has idea to put, maximize the connection with the uh, Hang Chin Island. They are room enough for developing tourism uh, and heritage preservation, as well as social welfare, mm -hmm. quality of life for the locals. Mm -hmm. I am absolutely committed in the local uh, people who, in the 60s, works a lot to make Macau a very uh, livable and happy place, mm -hmm. full of memories, with gentleness, with friendship, with community, a fashion community. Yeah. These people now, Mm -hmm. They are 70 years old, 80 yeah. years old, and they have their grandchildren. Mm -hmm. They need to, and they have the right mm -hmm. to have a happy, 
relaxed uh, retirement, mm -hmm. going to the park with the, uh, uh, the, the kids. Uh, so, uh, for the visitors, I think the 8% of the mm -hmm. uh, leisure area mm -hmm. is not enough. Uh, therefore, I came with that idea of the bridge. Mm -hmm. But we can talk about that later if you think it's important. But in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, master plan, to be mm -hmm. very brief, it is 103 pages, well organized, uh, with comprehensive uh, diagrams and also uh, in Portuguese, very well written, which is something that uh, Secretary Raimundo do Rosario should be happy because the Portuguese is very well translated. And methodol methodologically, it's correct. It divides Macau into 18 uh, unidades um, operativas okay. de planeamento e gestão. It planning means and management operating. Operation, yes, yeah. unities for planning and mm -hmm. management. Uh, of course, this 18 can be 20 or just being 12. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are areas relation of neighborhood identity, community, functional, which you cannot in a cartography yeah. register through a color. That's but this is up to Plano de Pormenor, yeah. detailed plan, because, you know, as a methodology, I think uh, the team who has designed the master plan of Macau did it very well. 18, sounds good. Good, uh, good for sorry, very good. So if in the detailed plan you can join three of these uh, unidades mm -hmm. uh, operativas, no problem. But uh, um, a master plan in the world is always a document of synthesis. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's always a document with very clear rules for the strategy and construction, yeah. and not much detail. Because this fundamental uh, in tool, uh, the master plan, supported by the law, which project is uh, annex attached to the brochure, yeah. um, will be the legal uh, normative to run yeah. the city strategy and construction. Therefore, the plan de pormenor, we call it PP, okay? Mm -hmm. The PP must be very much more detailed. Does it seem like that, because this covers 20 years, this is a very long period and Macau has already gone through such rapid development and people have felt the effects of that so primarily within their day-to-day -day lives. Does that mean that we have this plan now and we can kind of sit back a little and deal with the individual um, individual planning for those planning and management operating units slowly by slowly, or we need to jump on this right away and get those details hammered out? Uh, of course, the government must, um, must um, uh, show very shortly a timeline mm -hmm. to fulfill all these phases. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I think that uh, government should uh, inaugurate a new department okay. out of PWD, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. out of uh, GDI and so on. Mm -hmm. Infrastructure development. Just uh, how uh, um, urbanism, a master plan authority, mm -hmm. little people, very clever, clever people, okay. using the services provided by Macau society mm -hmm. in all levels, and then in a very agile way, mm -hmm. uh, transparent, legal, has, have the decision and send to the related department to produce the P PCU, the alignment plan, the yeah. official plan, and so on. Because this is the way to be done. I give you a little example. If the um, uh, master plan mm -hmm. were not so generalistic, it's bad. What is happening with in Lisbon? The so-called PDM, the municipal master plan, okay. is so complicated, is so detailed mm -hmm. that it leaves no room for the entrepreneur yeah. and for the designers, for architect, engineer. They establish even the size of a balcony. Why? It's up to you as an enterprise, as an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. You spend your money, you risk your, your future, and you, if you are close to the, the river, you want a big balcony. Mm -hmm. 
if you are in a rear facade, you do, so how can the authority uh, make this restriction? Therefore, a lot of uh, designers in Portugal is very angry, mm -hmm. and their institute are voicing regarding this too much detail, cutting out the principle of creativity, that, not only for the designer, yeah. but for the investors. In that aspect also, Macau might be lucky because, for example, three of the zones, which are those um, UOPGs, they're central Macau, and they mm -hmm. they're fall under the heritage law. Mm -hmm. So you naturally have protections on facades, heights of buildings, yes. visual corridors, which has been a main yes. problem within Macau. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the way that it is divided up. You had mentioned before that there is a lack of leisure areas. We see within the overall plan 8% 8% is for green areas or yes. public spaces, 23% is for public infrastructure, 22% is residential, and 13% is for tourism. How would you like to see that adjusted? Yes, uh, mainly in the um, adding more leisure areas, mm -hmm. and in the infrastructure areas, there is a lack in this, but I understand that in this stage, the master plan is not showing. For instance, people talk about traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Boyle, Monsieur, Boyle, uh, it's Boyle, I forgot the name. We learned in the high school the, the principle of simul simultaneity. Uh, two corps cannot occupy simultaneously the same place. Mm -hmm. So it, it means that we in the old, old area, we inherit uh, medieval. Uh, net of road. Yeah, one-way streets, so, side alleyways. They are narrow, uh -huh, yeah. and the uh, buildings are quite high for the, if we consider the width of this narrow street. So, how can you park the car, move the car, and still asking for pedestrian jogging path? So, I put the cars on my hat, in the hats of all the citizens, it's not possible. So, so many studies are bureaucratic studies, mm -hmm. viewing, uh, 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 cheating people with uh, uh, artist impression, uh, beautiful perspective with mm -hmm. a lot of birds. But so, what have to be assumed is a policy of parking, and okay. today parking they are automated parking. Mm -hmm. Uh, in America, in all Europe, in Asia, even in China. Being some of the system in China, very good. Almost all of them use Zimen uh, mm -hmm. software. Yeah. So they are automated uh, parking lots. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and they consume 40%, 40% of the volume of a traditional uh, car park, and also reduce the human resources. Mm -hmm. Three guys can be uh, managing three parks uh, simultaneously through. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but, so, but where is the policy to clearly state that this land is for land uh, for uh, 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 car parks? Car parks. Mm -hmm. And then you say, oh, some of the narrow street in Tapsac, in mm -hmm. uh, uh, San Malo, there's no place. Yes, so the government must there. Polis, in the traditional of the Hellenics, the Greek Roman, is to there, is to prevent, is to forecast. So, mm -hmm. in a street, you buy, you exchange with those, uh, now the owners of one or two buildings, mm -hmm those small buildings called M-class. Yeah. M-class is 20.5 mm -hmm. meters. Okay. Um, uh, put them in another house, destroy that two house and make an automated park. So this kind but of... But that's, that's been a huge traditional problem with Macau has been the amount of vehicles and even though they tried to implement things such as the um, import tax and things like that, we still saw vehicle sales continue to rise. We still see that to this day. They're not slowing down. So where does something like the LRT fit in? Because we have had this massive project which just keeps going and they've announced now that it's going to be going through a tunnel and go to zone A and then it'll go to, then it'll have underwater um, stations next to the border gate and things like that, which all seems very good, well and good on paper. What about completing that loop that they've talked about for the LRT and getting a functional loop through that goes all the way around Macau that connects in between Baja and the border gate. Do you think that's ever possible? Oh, that is possible, and this is a very good 
very good um, statement uh, from you. Because we cannot only design a structure to serve the visitors. We, first of all, as the English say, the beautiful old proverb, everything begins at home. That's not Shakespearean, but it is true. So everything must begin in Macau. We have to serve our communities. Mm -hmm. So it's not so difficult with uh, international consultants. But serious is not inviting University of Macau to to uh, prepare reports. Mm -hmm. So the boss asks you a report. I'm the boss. I pay them. They will say everything is okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, ask Oxford, ask Harvard, ask other, or must, at least it's not governmental university. Mm -hmm. So it is possible. It is very difficult, I know. But it is a challenge that this government should face with reality, mm -hmm. good sense, because we have to serve the population. And using only um, like, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, um, a train mm -hmm. for clouds, you know, mm -hmm. like yeah. in uh, adult um, Walt Disney yeah. Uh, yeah. around Kotai, the casino, mm -hmm. and so on. It's not, it's good, not enough. It's better than nothing. I mean, yes, considering how long it took, it's at it's least like it, it could is be a, a bit more extensive. <laughs> uh, a beautiful view, right? Yes. So make yes. it distance and link the. Uh, peninsula with the um, uh, Saipan called one. And you know, uh, the government consult the people. Uh, people must be aware of something. Uh, when the government consults the people, the community, it's a very correct process, must be transparent. But the, on the other side, the people have to bear in mind something. Uh, they are asked, they are asked to issue an opinion, mm -hmm. not a technical yes. report. Mm -hmm. But in Macau, everybody knows everything. Mm -hmm. They don't give an opinion. They give a technical report, un pericier technique. Mm -hmm. yes. And that is absolutely wrong. Because if the people knows everything, why we need to ask for ex expertise? So they give their opinion, and then the expert will pro process it accordingly. Mm -hmm. We um, unfortunately we're drawing to a close on our time here, but that is exactly what is happening right now. We're going through that public consultation process. We have the very extensive um, layout here, which we're then going to find out more details about as we not only give our opinions, but we also see what they're planning to do with each one of these urban districts in Macau. Thank you very much for being on the show. I really appreciate your time. You are most welcome. Thank you. Hopefully we'll see you back here soon with something a little bit less complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you again. That's all for this evening. Join us again next week for more TDM Talk Show. Good night.